Got the Delta Force 35 back on the block. Gonna be adding a bit of extra water cooling. I've used a water cooling plate from a ZTW Shark ESC. Uh, trying to cool the boat down, try to get a little bit better temperatures. Uh, the only other way I could think of is dumping a bucket of ice in it. <laughs> so stick around, stick around, don't blink, don't blink. Big B here with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything. RC. You know we like our flow. Going to the to the ESC, we're going to actually uh, use a water cooling plate that came off of an old ZTW Shark that I've sank and blew up. Uh, we're going to use this plate on our vertical ESC mount. I made this vertical mount out of a piece of aluminum. Uh, the the thoughts behind it was. A little extra cooling um, I have a video on how to make this ESC mount a previous video I'll include the link in the description but we're gonna add a little a bit more cooling to the to the setup cooling plate from a ZTW shark ESC that I messed up uh, I just kind of stripped it out of the ESC and we got us a decent sized cooling plate but it's not limited to just that style of cooling plate. Like this ESC is still good, but if you had a bad ESC similar to this, like a Hobby Wing Sea King, basically uh, the same thing, you can, if it's not working, <laughs> if it's not working, you can pull this cooling fin off the actual ESC chipboard itself, like pry it off like I've done to these brushed ESCs that I've blown up in the past plates off of but you can like run a cooling tube through there kind of like this you know cut it off here and stick to your ESC you could pull this cooling fin off and stick it like directly onto your ESC to give you a little extra cooling without breaking the bank right on the back of this vertical mount like you guys see here okay i've actually drilled a little hole for my zip tie to run around and uh, hold everything in place i think this is going to work without adding an external water pickup if i add an external pickup i'm going to have to add a through hole for the water cooling line and an exit for this uh, external pickup so I really don't feel like going through all that trouble right now so I got the boat turned so you can see what I'm talking about here this is my in cooling in hose add an extra tube silicone tube so this is my in tube we're gonna add it to the cooling plate all right and then we're gonna add the exit tube to my cooling plate. All right. And then set the cooling plate right behind my vertical mount here un under that little flange. Uh, the cooling plate is gonna cool the aluminum ESC mount, in turn cooling the speed controller. All right. Like I said, it's actually cooled the ESC better than when the ESC was sitting flat on the fiberglass ESC mount right here and I've seen cooler temperatures so it's working this vertical mount does work and uh, I think it's gonna cool even better with this cooling plate so my, my water in is here it's gonna cool the top part of my ESC and it's gonna go to the cooling plate Hopefully, hopefully the cooling plate acts as a radiator, cooling down the water for when it goes through the bottom part of the ESC. You feel me? And then out the boat. So cooling in to the plate, out the plate, and back in the ESC and out of the boat. So in all actuality, I could just put the cooling plate on the back of my ESC 
and zip tie the cooling plate directly to the ESC. But uh, I kind of want an, a more streamlined look. That's why I was going to try to hide the cooling plate behind my vertical mount. So now I'm just going to get a zip tie and zip tie all of this together. All right. So yeah, yeah, I got it zip tied together here. No, uh, no tape in between the components. Uh, metal to metal, cooling the ESC down better. Yeah, I think that's gonna do the trick. I think that's gonna help with the temperatures. We'll find out the next time we take the boat to the lake, the pond. Uh, you know, hopefully this gives you guys an idea for, for your boat, for your build. Uh, you can even use this process for cars not so much the water cooling part but the fins you can add fins to your rc trucks and rc cars to add extra bit of cooling as well but uh thank you guys for watching big b with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good good ring them bells and all the whistles <laughs> we'll see you guys next time